Here we go. This is Mr. Green Boy. Well, I've got him up close to the camera. Let's look at his coat. So he is a sable tricolor. And so with the sable, he looks very dark back here right now. But if you start to look under, let's see. Can you see that that starts out very, very light? He has a very light base to his coat. So when his hair is long, he's going to look darker. And if he gets um, groomed and it's cut short, he is going to be a very light colored boy. All right. So he is also from Beatrice and Leopold's litter of F1 standard Bernadoodles. And he's seven weeks old. He is nine pounds, 12 ounces. He is tied for largest in the litter. We always figured that he was going to be a nice big boy. I expect him to be at least 90 pounds once he matures, which will probably take 18 to 24 months um, before he gets to his full weight. As I said, he's a sable tri, so he's got the black, brown, and white um, in variations all over his body. The nice white muzzle. He's got white tips on all four of his paws. And I keep forgetting to point this out. He has a white tip on his tail. All of the puppies in Beatrice's litter do. This guy um, has got a, also that coat that's just barely starting to um, show a little bit of wave. So it's a nice and light wave and going to um, remain pretty loose. He's not going to really have the curls. And so his grooming needs will be a little bit easier with about um, two, well, I should say at least two times per year. Um, just dependent upon how you want to keep it, if you want to keep it long or short. Um, as you can see, he is just, he's a very sweet boy. He's pretty dang mellow. He has medium to low energy. He tends to remain calm almost all the time. Uh, he likes to be introduced to new things, but he doesn't rush into it. He likes to sit and think about it for a while. Um, before he does, he doesn't startle and run away. He just likes to check it out first and before he decides, okay, that's something that I want to do. And he is one that loves to be in your lap. So he might be one of those big giant lap dogs that we love so much. He's also pretty confident um, when we introduce new things. He just takes it all in stride. And he does, again, want to process. He needs just a little bit of time with that. So with his future training, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, most of the puppies need that. You work on something first and give them 15 to 30 minutes more processing time. And then when you come back at it, sometimes it's just like they've been doing that since birth, um, even though it's the first time they've been introduced to it. So he would be good to go in just about any home. He'd be good with little kids. He'd be good with elderly. He um, would be good to just be a couch potato. He'd be happy with that. He'd also be happy to go out and go for hikes and walks and um, car rides and basically just at whatever pace you're willing to go, this guy is going to just be there and be able to be able to do whatever you're wanting. All right, what do you think, huh? You're tired of me holding you like this. You 